This video is provided for informational purposes only. The contents of this video cannot substitute for proper training under and implementation of industry standards applicable to servicing and testing of electrical equipment. You must carefully review and follow OSHA, NFPA, and other regulatory requirements, equipment manufacturer's instructions, and your company's safety procedures when conducting any testing or servicing of electrical equipment. The demonstrations in this presentation were performed by trained professionals in a controlled environment. Do not attempt to induce an arc fault, arc flash, or any other condition that could potentially damage electrical test tools or equipment, or otherwise create any increased risk of personal injury. NFPA 70E specifies that test instruments shall be stored in a clean and dry area and properly inspected and tested before each use. To ensure your equipment is ready when you are, consider implementing the following inspection steps. 1. Look for the CAT3 or CAT4 rating on the front of your test instruments. If you use test instruments on or near 480 or 600 volt circuits, you should use 600 or 1000 volt CAT3 or 600 volt CAT4 test instruments. 2. Look for approval symbols from independent testing agencies. 3. Ensure the fuse is the one recommended by the manufacturer. 4. Check the condition of your meter or test instrument. Look for signs of damage like a broken case, a faded display, or other problems. Check your manual to see if the ohms and continuity circuit is protected to the same level as volts. If the protection level is not listed, ask for written confirmation from the manufacturer. 5. Examine your test leads for such features as finger guards, cat ratings, and look for frayed or broken wires. Check the length of exposed metal and make sure the tips are the appropriate length, such as 4 millimeters for CAT3 and CAT4 environments. Remember, test probes are designed for a variety of test environments. What is appropriate for a printed circuit board in a CAT2 environment may not be appropriate for 480 or 600 volt circuits. In a high energy setting like CAT3 or CAT4, be sure your test probes have a minimum amount of exposed metal. Shorter test probe tips reduce the amount of exposed metal when working in tight spaces. This helps eliminate the chance of a phase-to-phase -phase or phase-to-ground short should you become distracted or the probe tip slips off an energized conductor. It is good practice to consider replacing your test leads and probes annually if they receive heavy use. Test leads and probes are your first line of defense for making safe electrical measurements. 6. You can use your test instrument to check for internal breaks in your test leads. Turn to the ohms function, then short your leads together. The unit should read close to zero. With the leads still shorted, jiggle the leads and look for an intermittent open circuit, which could signal an internal break. 7. Test your fuses by configuring your test instruments to measure ohms. Then inserting one end of your test lead into the ohm input jack and the test probe into the amp or milliamp jack. A blown fuse would read as an open circuit. The actual resistance value will vary depending on the model used. At a minimum, verify that the unit does not read OL, which stands for open circuit. 8. Finally, if you've ever had a blown fuse or mishap with your test instrument, make sure you get it checked out and properly calibrated by a person qualified to do this type of work before using it. Never replace a damaged fuse with a fuse not specified by the manufacturer for that specific piece of test equipment. The Fluke meter system, which includes the meter's internal circuitry and fuses and the test probes shipped with the instrument, works together to properly interrupt fault currents that exceed 10,000 amps. These fuses may be the only thing standing between the user and a serious incident. While you can't totally eliminate the dangers of working with electricity, with careful planning and applying what you've learned here today, you can reduce them. On behalf of everyone at Fluke Corporation, thank you for watching.